he's going to buy the flower key so I can make him some bread. <laughs> can't go to the island without stopping in to eat at Paula Dean's. We had crispy fried chicken, roast beef, and southern cooked vegetables. Best southern comfort food in the Smokies. questions like she won't she ain't gonna like it did you welcome everybody to the channel no i said it i said she had to go get her paper and if i don't answer these questions like she likes it i'm gonna be in trouble well we want to welcome you back to our youtube channel we had so much fun in pigeon forge that it's going to take me at least three videos to just hit the highlights but today we're going to incorporate a little bit different into this video, we're going to talk about how we have met some of you on the road. Stay tuned right after the intro. We are Ricky and Denise. We travel full time in our Freightliner truck that pulls our DRV JX450 full house. And we are living life in different places. Thanks for watching. Well, after leaving the island, a few of us headed over to the NASCAR racetrack. Well, we are here at the NASCAR racetrack in Sevierville, Tennessee. Ricky, Don, Randy, and Gladys are going to race. So they're getting in their cars now, getting buckled up. So let's see who wins this race. Here we go. Ricky's in the Jimmy John's. Gladys. <laughs> and here comes Don. Number 24. That thing come down on my head. Uh -uh, I had to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Too claustrophobic, yeah. Huh? Well, the NASCAR Speed Park has unlimited ride wristbands. Depending on your age, they cost from $26.99 to $32.99 if purchased online. You have unlimited access to eight go-kart tracks, two mini golf courses, bumper boats, and rides. And you can even come and go throughout the day. Now we are at the Intimidator track. And Ricky and Gladys and Dawn are at it again. Let's go check them out. The best part of full time RVing is not being in front of this camera. <laughs> now, uh, you've heard me say it lots of times, most every time. The best part of RVing for me, not necessarily full time, is uh, the people we've met on the journey. You get lost in your imperfections. You get lost in the things you want. But if you slow down for just one second, you might feel way we better. We can do the we can do the we can do the first show, or we can go because it's in ten minutes. So I don't think we're gonna make that one. Or we can go ride the train then do the eleven thirty one. Okay. Get us to the train. I've been right here, baby. I know it. Life can get hard, keep going. I just want to be the one you need right now. Baby, would you turn and look at me right now? Me right now. What's going on? You can tell me everything that's going wrong. Only say the word will disappear somehow. If we need some entertainment But we don't have to hurry Cause our conversation's always entertaining And if you just 
just want me to listen I can do that too Because all that I can do for you I'll do Oh yeah, baby, I know it Life can get hard, keep going I just wanna be the one you need right now Baby, would you turn and look at me right now Me right now What's going on? You can tell me Baby, I know it Life can get hard, keep going I just wanna be the one you need right now Baby, would you turn and look at me right now Me right now What's going on? You can tell me everything that's going wrong Only say the word will disappear somehow All we gotta do is be right here right now Right now After the train ride, we were all hungry for Dollywood's hot, fresh cinnamon bread. It's made daily at the Old Grist Mill. Cinnamon bread. Cinnamon sauce. And they have apple butter dipping sauce. Ooh. You know what that does? What does that do? Make the, the locals local. regular? The locals say it'll make you regular apple butter. <laughs> yeah, man. I need the bread too, please. I'm getting the bread. Wine? Wine. And you get an icing or apple butter. Uh, there you go. You are all set. Apple butter. You have a good day. All right. Thank you. Good. Yum, eat. yum, yum. Yum, eat. So good. So good. How good is it? Don't know yet, I haven't tried it. Okay, to, let's try it. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. You want some apple butter in there? So Denise, where are y'all going? I'm gonna go up there. Where's up there? All the way up there. Oh wow. And Joe, Wait you're going too? I'm gonna go too. You're gonna go too? <laughs> I'm gonna give her a whirl. I'm trying to keep my feet together. <laughs> I'm waiting for my partner in crime. She had to go to the bathroom. She didn't want to pee up there. <laughs>
Dollywood without getting an ice cream cone. Can't go nowhere without getting an ice cream cone. Another toilet. There's two pink toilets. <laughs> oh, this is her dressing room. Yeah, but she also has a mirror. Well, oh, there's Randy. I hey! This bus. <laughs> I come with Dolly. I come in peace. And I said she had how many miles on this? 600 or something? Dolly's better in her bus. Check this out. Dolly's bedroom. And her guitar on the bed. Another dressing table. Come on, you took a shower and a bathtub. And here's her closet. This is the widest space in here. Yep. Oh, wow. Dolly, I'm sorry, but I got more clothes than you do. <laughs> and, 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 and yeah. my coach. Closet. The ladies are doing some shopping.
Well, we had a good time at Pigeon Forge with our friends. Absolutely. It's always an adventure. <laughs> Especially with some of them. <laughs> well, uh, it's, you know, they say that the old sand birds of a feather flock together. Uh, but but it's really, I mean, you know, there again, I say it all the time, and I use Don, but even Keith, and, you know, and, and you know, and I met Canadians, I met people from, you know, all across the United States, and uh, I, I got to admit, sometimes you, you, you grow up with preconceived ideas uh, that you find out that uh, most of the time that's not true. We're just all people. We're people, and, uh, you know, some of us uh, like to talk more than others. Uh I don't know what it is about the camera, but you get me away from the camera and I'm, I'll talk signposts to death. But uh, we do meet in, enjoy meeting folks and in, uh, in, in sharing life experiences together. <laughs> I better answer this one right. Uh, we've met most, not all, uh, the people that we've stayed in contact with uh, at rallies. Uh, first one at uh, heavy duty truck rallies. Even though we got an MDT, they let us in. Uh, also, uh, we had the privilege to go to a sport chassis rally and met some wonderful folks there that does have the sport chassis. Uh, we're also looking very forward to going to our first uh, DRV rally uh, here in about a month or so and uh, meeting folks uh, that has the DRV and uh, enjoying that journey. Uh, and when, you know, most of you know that we spent uh, our three winters in uh, Texas and we met some awesome friends on the pickleball court and uh, have kept up with them and they've become like family as well. And, you know, we've met a lot of people in the park as well because, you know, you don't stay somewhere five months. I don't stay somewhere five months that I don't meet people because, you know, I like to walk and, uh, they say I don't mean a stranger. So, yeah, and we had the privilege. Actually, got my shirt on. Uh, we had the privilege this winter to uh, uh, try the good news of the gospel at uh, the park we were at. And uh, had the privilege of uh, not only preaching, but baptizing five folks our last service there. Pointer. <laughs> well, I'm probably not a good one to <laughs> ask uh, about meeting people, but... Uh, you know, in pointers because, you know, I just speak to people. Uh, most people speak back. You can you can tell, you know, when somebody don't want to be bothered most of the time. Uh, but I found that, you know, most RVers are uh, very outgoing folks. And, uh, you know, they like to walk around, you know. Most of everybody's got a dog or a cat or something that they, they walk around. Yeah, and, and I learned early on, if you learn the dog's name, uh, you're in, you know. Sometimes you can forget the, the person's name, but if you learn the dog or the cat's name, you, you're in like Flint. But I do, uh, you know, I have a saying, how y'all doing? And uh, my Canadian friend, Keith, he, he, he said, I don't know what it is about it, but he says, when I start to say, how y'all doing? He said, people just speak back. So, I don't know, maybe a Southern thing, but that's the way I was raised to, you know, it does. there's no difference in people to me. It doesn't matter uh, what race or nationality or what uh, economic status you have. I mean, we're all flesh and blood, and uh, I just love meeting people and having a good time. So, we have even been at parks where we've had people come up and see our rig and know that it's us and come up and introduce herself. So if you're in a park and you see us, come knock on the door if we're not outside because we'd like to meet you. Yeah, you know, and, and I'm sure the other YouTubers that have a lot more subscribers, uh, it, it's, it's kind of different when you meet somebody the first time and they call you by name. Uh, but I understand that because I watch a lot of YouTubers and I, I would do the same thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, we encourage that because it's it's just a wonderful thing uh, meeting people. Meeting our followers. Well, you know, just meeting people well, in general. Uh, but uh, we do thank you for coming along on the journey with us and uh, those that have been very faithful to us. 
And uh, for those who are just passing through, you know, you may, it's like a lot of things. You might find something you like, you, you know. If you don't like it this time, maybe come back next time. We try to we do. We have a variety of things. We try to do a variety of things. I mean, you know, if you've watched it all, we do like to ride uh, our trike. And, you know, we're trying, we're starting a new trend for all my friends. You know, they were all getting trikes as well. Except for Don and Kathy. Except but that's Don okay. Kathy. Yeah, well, because they, Don and Kathy are in the Jeep, yeah. and she's a good guide. Yeah, and right. also, if it starts raining, Don, I have a place where I don't have to put on my rain jacket. I can just hop in the Jeep. Yeah, well, everybody can't get in the Jeep. So next time, your end's going to be out in the rain. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's just a privilege and an honor and... Uh, Something that, that we, we don't take for granted. And uh, we started out on this journey, and she says, well, we always got to close it. I'm going to close it like this. We started out, was going to say, uh, you know, give a few minutes devotion. Uh, been reading in Proverbs this week uh, again. Uh, to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, there's nothing like it. I've done a lot of things in life and been a lot of places now uh, in life that I never thought I'd go. But no matter where I go, I can feel the presence of the Lord and see His beauty and His hand in everything. So I'm just going to say this. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, uh, a lot of people say they've tried Him. Well, if you have a relationship, you'll know what the difference is. So we just want to bless you in Jesus' name. And we'll see you. Well, we thank you for coming along this we journey. Get your hair up. Okay. Get your hair up. You know, that's another thing. You know, when I watch these videos, everything's got to be just smooth and, you know, no background noise. There's log trucks goes by here, just one right after the other. The birds. The are birds are singing. Nothing greater. I mean, they're praising God. So we need to praise God as well. Don't forget, like and subscribe so you won't miss Ricky and I as we are soaring together and living life in different places. Thanks for watching.